Mayor Lightfoot took many bold actions to alleviate economic hardships facing Chicago residents. So she created the first ever income-based debt relief programs for water, sewer, and auto-related debt and eliminated late fees at libraries. Alongside partners, she also raised the minimum wage and expanded the Fair Work Week ordinance to improve workplace conditions. To advance gender equity and be a model employer, she also expanded the city's paid parental leave policy to 12 weeks for birthing and non-birthing parents and instituted an executive order to require a pay equity audit for the city's workforce every two years. She also expanded the city's sexual harassment laws as well. We also acted swiftly after the Roe versus Wade repeal and we supported abortion providers and prohibited retaliation and discrimination against tenants and workers for their reproductive care and gender affirming care decisions. To promote whole of government action to improve the lives of returning residents, Mayor Lightfoot also formed the Interagency Reentry Council and we took action to reform the city's background check policies to open up access to thousands of city jobs for returning residents. Mayor Lightfoot also delivered on a commitment to shift the city's municipal power to 100% renewable energy by 2025 through a contract to source power from a large-scale solar project in Illinois with meaningful equity-focused workforce provisions. And lastly, the mayor instituted the Connected Communities Ordinance, which is the most comprehensive set of zoning reforms in decades to promote affordable, sustainable, and people-centered development near transit. Through the Chicago Recovery Plan, we've invested in communities and progressive priorities to advance an equitable recovery from the COVID-19 pandemic. And that is gonna trickle down into so many seas that will bloom for years to come. So we allocated millions for food equity, gender-based violence solutions, uh, community wealth building pilots like co-ops, services for returning residents, local climate action, and so much more. One project I was very involved with was creating the largest city-led guaranteed income demonstration in the country for 5,000 households, $500 a month for 12 months. So with Mayor Lightfoot's leadership, this investment represents a fundamental shift in how the city can and will bolster our local safety net to support the economic security of Chicago residents. And lastly, the mayor also led a participatory process called We Will Chicago to create the first citywide plan since 1966. So the citywide plan is a document that will shape future policy decisions, budgets, and the built environment to advance equity and resiliency. It is a wide-ranging document that's a 10-year vision for what we can do together across arts, culture, transportation, the environment, and so much more to advance equity and resiliency in Chicago.